What's up, losers? Episode one of Presidents Play Google Feud. Grab your calculators. It's Wordle time, everyone. How do you use a calculator in Wordle, Joe? This is not Wordle. It's Google Feud. Explain it, Obama. This is Google Feud, where presidents compete at guessing what comes next in popular Google search results. This video is awesome. Subscribe to Parody Gaming. Let's go. I want to go first, losers. Fine, you can go first, Donnie, as you are a child, and I know you will not shut up until you get your way. What category are you going to pick, Lumpy Trumpy? Stop making nicknames up for me, you bag of dust. And I'm going to win no matter what category I pick. I'm just going to pick the questions category. You should have picked the prison category, Trumpy Rumpy. You would be good at that one. Haha, <laughs> good burn Joe. Get wrecked, Donald. That doesn't even make sense. There isn't even a prison category, you morons. Well, there should be. What's going to be your first guess then, Donnie? The phrase you have to try and complete Trump is how to get rid of... Joe Biden. That's my first guess. How to get rid of Joe Biden. What the hell, Trumpy? That's not nice. Wrong, Donald. No one on Google is searching how to get rid of Joe Biden. You have three more guesses. Damn it, I was sure that was going to be right. I Google search that all the time. I thought it would be at least 1,000 points. I wonder if the viewers know the answers to these. Comment below on each round what you think the 10,000 point answer is. And for every right answer in the comments, I will punch Joe Biden square in the face. Hurry up and take another guess already, Donald. Okay, I'm going to play properly now. I'm going to try typing in something I commonly need to get rid of to see if other people Google the same as me. Are you going to type in how to get rid of a prison sentence by any chance? Because that is something you need to get rid of. <laughs> Good one, Joe. You have been getting absolutely roasted recently, Donald. Right off, both of you. My next guess is how to get rid of hiccups. This has to be a big one. I'm feeling it. 8,000 points. Good job, Donnie. That was a good one. Of course it was a good one. I'm Donald f***ing Trump. I hate how cocky you are all the time. You're just jealous of my good looks and swagger barack. What's your next guess, Donnie? You have three guesses remaining. Honestly, I'm thinking it might be the N-word. Donnie! What the fuck, Trump? Hear me out, guys. Have you never had an N-word you wanted to get rid of? Donnie, what the hell? Why, what's wrong? I've had loads I wanted to get rid of. This is the video Donnie finally gets canceled. Donald, if you put that word, the whole world will hate you, including me. I don't care. I'm putting the N-word anyway. You're an idiot, Donald. Say goodbye to your career forever. Ever, Trumpy Rumpy. Here we go. I'm going to put the N word. Can we get a RIP in the comments for Donnie about to get canceled? The N word I'm thinking of is nosebleed, of course. My guess is how to get rid of a nosebleed. You're an idiot. I hate you make me fall for that every time. Donnie, you can't keep doing that. Doing what? What N word did you guys think I was talking about? Never mind. Let's just move on. You only have two more guesses left. What's your next guess, Donnie? Okay, I need some points now. And I am such a ladies' man. Women are all over me all the time. It's such a problem that I always have hickeys. You'll have many giving you hickeys instead in the showers when you're in prison soon. I will eat your ashes when you die, old man, just so I can shoot you back out into my toilet. Anyway, my guess is how to get rid of hickeys. Nice 1,000 points there, Trump. Good job, Donnie. Give me a hickey next. What the hell did you just say, Biden? Did you just ask Trump to give you a hickey, Joe? Oh, what? No. Of course not. You definitely did, you sick, twisted pervert. No. I said you should guess bed bugs. I get bed bugs all the time, and I have had to Google in the past how to get rid of them. Joe, you really need to learn when to shut the hell up. Frank it. I'll try it anyway. How to get rid of bed bugs? 7,000 points. Wow. I'm worried at how many people in the world are getting bed bugs. You would be surprised, Obama Rama. It's just all the old people like Joe Biden that get them. My God, I hate old people. I wish I could get rid of all the old people. Trump, stop calling people old. You are 77 years old yourself. Fake news. I'm like a young, strong ox. Fuck old people. That's my next guess, how to get rid of old people. I'm so glad that was wrong. Only one guess left, Trumpy Rumpy, and you only have 16,000 points. I'm going to easily beat you at this rate. I'm not going to lose to you, Biden. I refuse to lose to an absolute loser that gets bed bugs, you smelly, senile freak. Damn, I bit harsh there, Donnie. You have one last guess remaining. What's it going to be? Bad smells, I think. Biden smells of moldy urine. I want to get rid of him, so my guess is how to get rid of bad smells. Wrong, Donnie. You got a total of 16,000 points that round. Not too bad. Fucking ants was the top answer. Comment below if you got the 10,000 point answer. Let's move on to the next round. You have two more rounds to play, Donnie. Then it will be Joe's turn to pick a category to try and beat you. You. Okay, my phrase is, what happens if you touch a... Uh, any idea, boys? We're not supposed to be helping you, Trump. It's still your goal. You should type in, what happens if you touch a bar of soap, Trump? Because you will be bending down and touching the soap a lot in the prison showers. Nope. Shut the hell up. I am not listening to you anymore, Biden. To be fair, his last suggestion was bed bugs, which scored a lot of points, Trump. Fine, I will try it. What happens if you touch a bar of soap? <laughs> Wrong, grumpy Trumpy, you idiot. Obama, I'm going to kill him. Settle down, both of you. You need to focus, Donnie. You have had a few wrong guesses in a row now. Fine, I know there's a lot of poisonous frogs, so I bet people are searching about touching frogs, so that's my guess. What happens if you touch a frog? 
Wow, good job, Donnie. You got the 7,000 and 8,000 with that one. Good job, Daddy Donnie. Screw you, Biden. My next guess is terrible president, AKA Joe Biden. What happens if you touch a terrible president? You always do this, Trump. You think of a half sensible and actually quite a clever answer. Then you ruin it with a stupid one like that straight after. Shut up, Barack. All my guesses are sensible. I'm gonna put the word poisonous, just like how I plan on poisoning Joe Biden to make his death look like an accident. Damn, Donnie, you were on a roll. You got 9,000 points for that. Yes, of course I did. I am a legend, but I still want the 10,000 points, but I'm not sure what it could be. What about ice cream? I wonder what would happen if you touch ice cream. That sounds like heaven. Biden, you are not right in the head and you should be locked in a mental institution. I'm going for lava. What happens if you touch lava? Unlucky, lumpy, trumpy, you have one guess remaining. Yes, well done, Captain Obvious. I can read unlike you. What's gonna be your last guess, Trump? I'm thinking some sort of healthy food because in today's society, everyone is scared to touch healthy food. That's rich coming from you, fat man. Shut up, Biden, you naked mole rat looking motherfucker. I'm going for the healthiest food I can think of, and that's the Big Mac. What happens if you touch a Big Mac? Just when I thought you couldn't say anything more stupid, you come out with that. Damn it, I was sure that was gonna be right. Fucking baby bird was 10,000. Who the hell is searching that? You have one more round left, Trump, then it's my turn to show you how it's done. Let's see what your last round is then. What the fuck is this Google search? Oh no, I already know this is going to be offensive. Viewers from Canada, I apologize in advance for whatever Trump says next. This could be so many things. Canada sucks so bad, isn't it basically a third world country? No, you idiot. Have you even ever been to Canada before? Of course I haven't. I can smell how bad that place is from here. Canada has the best maple syrup. I sprinkle a little bit of Canadian maple syrup in my laundry detergent, and it makes my clothes smell and feel so sweet and fresh. Joe, you seriously worry me sometimes with some of the things you do. I'm going to pretend I didn't just hear that, but apart from maple syrup, I'm pretty sure Canada doesn't have anything good about it. That's my first answer. Does Canada have anything good about it? I hate playing these games with you, of course. Canada has lots of good things. It's a beautiful country. You're so boring, Obama. You call every country beautiful because you don't want to offend anyone. It's not boring. It's the truth. The only thing you care about is if a country has bombs and nukes. Good idea. I wonder if Canada does have nukes. Does Canada have nuclear weapons? No, you idiot. I didn't mean type it. That's obviously not going to be right. Oh my God. It actually is right. Holy shit. And it's the third most searched question. That's a big 8,000 points. Ha ha! In your face, losers. This is why I am the king of Google Feud. I hate when you say the dumbest shit, but then turn out to be right. I am always right. Unlike Canada, they are always wrong. Canada is so wrong, I bet they don't even have any freedom. Like us, great Americans, this is my next guess. Does Canada have freedom? There is no way this will be right as well. Oh my God, Obama-rama the llama, Trumpy Rumpy was right again. Ha <laughs> ha, told you, Barack, Canada has no freedom. I hate that the internet is just as dumb as you and are typing these things in. Also, this doesn't mean Canada doesn't have have freedom, you idiot. Whatever, I'm right again. Unlike Canada, you know what? I bet the people of Canada don't even have any basic human rights. That's my next guess. Does Canada have any rights? Oh my God, thank God that one was wrong. Everyone watching, I am sorry, he doesn't mean it. We love Canada. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Tell them, Joe, don't we love Canada? Oh, oh hey, what now? Sorry, I was just resting my eyes. What happened? Oh my God, he fell asleep again. See, Canada is so boring. Biden fell asleep. That's not saying much. He would sleep through a plane crash. Whatever, I bet they don't even have health care over there. My next guess is, does Canada have health care? I don't think we are allowed to insult any country's health care, Trumpy Rumpy. I'm pretty sure the whole planet laugh at us and how expensive our health care is. Holy shit, shut up, Joe. I just got the 10,000 point answer. I am the king. And also we have Obama to thank for our health care. How did Obamacare go in the end? Oh, shut up, you fat, clueless orangutan. I hate you are getting so many points here. This is unbelievable. Just admit I am the best. Unlike Canada, Canada are not the best at anything. I bet they don't even have guns. That's the next guess. Does Canada have guns? I wish we could go one video without you talking about guns or nukes or being offensive. One guest left Trump, you fat lump. Then it is my turn. I can't wait to show you how good I am at this game. I've been researching Google all week for this moment. You are an old lizard looking bitch. Research all you want. You can't beat the king. My last guess is electricity. Canada is so bad, I bet it doesn't even have electricity. Oh my God, thank God his go is finally over. My go now, boys. Yes, Joe, your turn. And Trump's final score is 65,000. Comment below if you think Joe will beat Trump or not. Ooh, what category should I pick? It doesn't matter what you pick, Biden. You suck at all of them. Pick what you think you know the most about Joe. Stuttering and falling over isn't a category, Obama. Screw you, Trumpy Rumpy. My category is food. <laughs> so people are searching for 
Are hot dogs made out of blank? Biden, you are a lucky, useless old man. This is easy. I'm guessing people are worried about the meat content of hot dogs. I thought they were made out of real dogs. You have to be kidding me, Joe. Well, why are they called hot dogs then? I have no idea. But it's not because they are made from dogs, Joe. We struck gold by having you on this channel, Biden. Everyone in the comments is fascinated by how useless you are and how you are not dead yet. Back off, Trump. Your wife looks like a dog. And my guess is horse. Horse meat ends up in everything these days. Oh, good thinking, Joe. What a stupid guess. Oh, look, 1,000 points. You suck, sleepy Joe. Go eat more hot dogs, Trumpy Rumpy. You're gonna need a weak gag reflex for when you're in prison, you fat orange <laughs> asshole. Oh my God, Joe, is he really under your skin already? Anything can fit under Biden's skin. It's looser than his wife's massive... Trump, stop right now. Every video is getting demonetized because of you. Just stop it. He f <laughs> started it. I won't mention his baggy and loose wife if he stops mentioning me in prison. It's all fake news. Both of you back off. And Joe, what is your next Google feud guess? My next guess is dogs. I bet I'm not alone at thinking that hot dogs are made out of real dogs. Jesus Christ, Biden, people aren't that stupid. Oh my God, 9,000 points. Suck on that Trumpy rumpy and stop doubting me, Obama-rama. I'm smarter than Trump looks. Uh -huh, that's a good one, Joe. This game's rigged and you have hacked into Google or something because this is bullshit. Every time I get an answer correct, it's because I'm smart, rumpy grumpy. I'm not hacking anything, unlike you. I have no idea on what the 10,000 point answer could be. I do. The answer is hot. What? God darn it. I thought if dog was an answer, or maybe hot was too. I take it all back. Trump was right. Ah, ha, ha. Suck it, Biden. Your IQ is zero. That is the worst thought process I have ever witnessed. Quickly have another guest to redeem yourself, Joe. That was rough. Ooh, okay, what do I type? You're boring and hurry up. What is the first thing you can think of? Oh, I got it. My answer is pig. Oh my God, he got the 10,000 point answer. What made you think of pig? I don't know, Obama-rama. As soon as Trumpy Rumpy opened his fat orange mouth, it was the first thing that popped into my mind. So it was nothing to do with pig meat or pork then? Just Trump's face. I can't believe you are doing so well with this logic, Joe. I can't believe he's still alive, to be honest. This old man is full of surprises. Three more guesses, Joe. What are you thinking now? Hmm, I'm not sure. China. Type China as they are always everywhere in these games spying on our people. That is so stupid, Trump. China it is. Trump is right, Obama-rama. They are in everything. Ah, uh, it was wrong. They must have hacked Google again. Jesus Christ, you two are complete morons. Ooh, I have an idea. Real skin is sometimes the skin on hot dogs is really weird. Wouldn't surprise me. An overcooked hot dog does feel like Biden's forehead. Get off my forehead, Trump! Calm down, Joe, and are we not addressing how stupid of an answer that was? Comment below if Obama is sucking the life out of today's video. Stop being boring, robot man. If it's not human skin, then it must be love. What the f*** are you on about, Sleepy Joe? When my wife makes me hot dogs, she says it's made with love. Nobody loves you. That's a cute answer, but also wrong, Joe. 20,000 points, not bad. Rats. What the f*** is wrong with this game? Who thinks rats are in hot dogs? It wouldn't surprise me if rats were in hot dogs. Next round, Joe. Let's see what you get. Oh, another easy one. Beef jerky is blank. Beef jerky is amazing, and I bet that is the 10,000 point answer. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, you suck by it. Try and think of why people would be searching about it, Joe. Maybe what it's made of or what you don't like about it. Oh, well, that's easy. Sometimes if I haven't had much to drink or the weather is quite warm, I struggle to eat jerky as it's too dry. So my answer is too dry. I'll tell you what's too dry. No, you won't, Trump. If you mention my wife is too dry, Trump, I'll uppercut one of your many orange chins. Actually, I was going to say that I agree with you and jerky is too dry. Well, Trump has tricked you there, Joe, into saying your own wife is dry, but try to move on and type your answer. You really are an <laughs> asshole, grumpy, trumpy, rumpy. 3,000 points, Joe. Well done. 3,000 is trash. You are basically poor in Google feud. I'm a legend at this game. Trumpy Rumpy. Some call me the Google wizard, and I'm proving that right now. The answer is good, because people must be curious if beef jerky is good or not. You really suck at this game, Biden. Three more guesses and only 4,000 points in this round so far. Yes, Trump, but it's total points across three rounds, and he's on 24,000 right now. I would bet $1 million that Biden can't get over 50,000 points in three games because his thought process is that of a child. You're on Trumpy Rumpy. 50,000 is easy. Don't make bets with Trump. He's sneaky, and you will regret it. Joe. What's done is done, Obama-rama, and my next guess is the 10,000 pointer. Beef? What the f***, Biden? How are you this stupid? It's called beef jerky, of course. It's f***ing beef. Then explain the f***ing hot dogs. There's no dog in hot dogs, so maybe there's no beef in beef jerky. I hate how his logic there makes so much sense. So much sense and yet zero points. I can already smell your $1 million coming my way, Sleepy Joe. Hmm, Trumpy Rumpy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have that much money. Of course you don't. You spent it all on drugs, didn't you? Yes. You what? I mean... No, I didn't buy drugs. I just paid all my taxes, unlike you. You snorted all your money with your dogs and Hunter, didn't you? Don't answer that, Joe. He's tricking you, and you will get canceled. Obama, you are such a boring robot. <laughs>
man. If boring keeps me out of prison, unlike you, then I'm okay with that. Maybe people are wondering if beef jerky is healthy. Jesus Christ, Trump, you are so distracting, I completely forgot we were playing Google Feud. 9,000 points. Once again, you are the most lucky person I have ever known. Don't stop now, Joe. You are on a roll. Sure thing. Obama-rama beef jerky is yummy. I bet most people ask Google that. Never mind. You are no longer on a roll. It was false hope. Watching you on Google Feud is like watching a baby try to walk for the first time. No matter how hard they try, it is still dog sh compared to an adult. Get wrecked, Trumpy Rumpy. Go eat some Big Macs and stop complaining when I'm better than you. One more guess for this round, Joe. My last guess is real because some people think things are fake far too often. A Trump fake news joke. I love it. Four wrong answers. Aha, uh -huh, you suck, Biden. Is beef jerky jerk beef and is beef jerky wet? Oh my God, some of these answers we would never get. Not even Biden's sick, twisted mind would think of some of these. Go to the next round, sleepy, useless Joe. Kale is? Oh my God, this is a hard one. Not for someone as good as me. Kale is easy. I would get 10,000 points in my first guess. Help him then Trump, if you are so smart. Maybe we would get more subscribers if you helped a little more. The day I help sleepy, useless Joe is the day we are turning off his life support machine. There's only one question on my mind about kale, and that is if there is kale ice cream. Kale ice cream. Have you lost your mind, Biden? Don't answer that. I already know the answer. Unlucky Joe, I'm sure you will get an ice cream round eventually. Thanks, Obama-rama. It is so annoying because surely some people are searching for it. Nobody is searching for it, Biden, you dementia-ridden <laughs> No points for you. What is your next useless guess? Well, isn't kale supposed to be super healthy? No, only Big Macs and Coca-Cola is healthy. Well, that is 100% not true. Read a book or something, robot man. I know my facts. You are so fat, I don't think anybody in the comment section listens to you, Trumpy Rumpy. Everyone listens to me. My videos go viral on Twitter and I'm dominating the internet. And so is Kanye with his blowjobs boat video. Doesn't mean anyone is listening to him. Yeezy is a legend and is living his life the way we all should. Anyway, most normal people think kale is healthy. So I'm typing in good because it's good for you. I love that thinking, Joe. 10,000 points. What the f***? You hacked the game again, didn't you, Sleepy Joe? No, Trumpy Rumpy, I just got good. He's really close to 50,000 points, Donald. Are you getting worried? No, I'm never worried. And the bet is off anyway because useless Joe snorted all his money. And now I'm going to snort you, Trumpy Rumpy. If good was 10,000 points, then bad is 9,000 points. I think that's not the correct grammar, Joe. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> zero points. It was a fluke. And stop being boring, Mr. Robot Man. Stop calling me boring, you orange Cheeto-looking troll guy. Oh, that was brutal Obama-rama. No, it wasn't. And take your guess, Biden. My next guess is a curveball. Some people might think kale doesn't exist anymore, so I'm going for kale is extinct. Once again, that is a really bad guess, Joe, and you only have one more wrong answer left. I wish you would go extinct, Biden. And I wish you would die from choking on McDonald's and sh** yourself at the same time. Ha 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 ha, that was funny. Once again, no, it wasn't funny. How are you both this bad at insults and still laugh with each other? Because you are an asshole. I will punch you so hard, Biden, you will be sh** teeth for a week. Ooh, I actually like that insult. And I will force feed you so much cocaine, you will turn into a vegetable. Ooh, vegetable. Kale is a vegetable. This is a really strange video. Yes, it blows my mind how people still binge watch our videos as you're incredibly boring. And Biden is more useless than a bag of dog sh I'm not useless. I'm just old, just like you and Kale. Huh? What are you on about? My final guess, that will get me over 50,000 points and put me very close to your score, Trumpy Rumpy. Kale is old. You mother and I hate this game, and Trump, you are a well, that was unexpected. Subscribe to Parody Gaming and watch another video on screen right now.